Hello everyone and welcome back. <clears throat> Excuse me, really quickly, I want to note that it says hashtag RID2, hard code Twitter. And of course, the really nice music. I will increase the resolution so I can, uh, I guess, match the sides up with the window. Okay, Star. Welcome back. Let's not waste any time. Get out there and get those fans. Okay. And, uh, also, you may have noticed my car has changed. You get much more style options offline than you do online. Uh, also, I'm not really doing good online at all. Uh, options. In audio, you can actually change what the announcer calls you, like, Welcome back, star! You can call you whatever. But really quickly, graphic options. Video mode. didn't quite match up. Okay, let's try that again. actually hit okay. Oops. Wait. Now I can't. There we go. Oh yes, uh, that's probably a good idea. because the volume is a little loud for me and I can't actually turn it down any more really. So that should be good. Now for audio leave. No, nope, not audio. Um I don't think in race now. I think in driver details, edit, because, you know, you're a driver. Audio name. I think it was nicknames. Yeah, here you are. Star, Tank, Thunder, Tiger. I'll call you whatever. Okay, so here's my snazzy new car style. Anyone wondering how you get the blue purplish style? Primary color is blue, secondary color is purple, and you use pearlescent instead of gloss, metallic, matte, whatever. I think it looks nice. Okay, so let's go on to events. And, uh, keep aspect ratio. Forgot about that. Okay. Career. Suppose we'll do a promo. Oh, wait. 
I already did that one up. I think I got a Honda Civic from doing that. Poor car. <laughs> when I was done with it, it was practically only the frame. If it didn't go on any longer, it would have only been the frame. Yeah, so I didn't do too much. I did a few games offline here. I won the Dodge Challenger RT. It took a while, but I got it. So that's our fair lady right there. I can drive dirty, so stay clear if you can. Okay. Straight up racing today. Nothing you can't handle. Oh, really? Are you sure about that? You know how terrible I am with the other tracks. Oops. That's not good. Okay, that error has cost you. Try and keep a clean racing line. Really, that error has cost me, huh? Not really that bad, though, huh? I think I see some sort of a dent on the top left part of my car. Oops. Ah, that error has helped me. How dare you, Harrison? Don't let him create a gap. Close him down. Go. Wow, that camera. Oops. We lost time going off track. Get it back. I have also noticed that it's a good idea not to try and cut corners going off the track and such, because there is a penalty for cutting corners. I think it is actually kind of smart how well it does keep track of how far off you fly. So... Well, I am actually surprised that I am doing so well. That's Harrison, isn't it? Yeah, there he goes. I think his car is about the same as uh, mine in terms of speed capabilities. It's really who's the better driver? You need to give first place some real grief. Get in front. Oops. Okay, Star. Let's keep that lead. Yes, let's. I'm 
wondering if that's another potential live stream viewer. Oops. Keep your eyes on the road. Eyes on the road behind me. Ha ha ha. I think when I'm actually less focused on the actual race itself, I may become a better driver. I wasn't really focused and I just started drifting like that. Like a pro. But then of course when I stop focusing as much, I'm <clears throat> also not paying attention to what's ahead of me two feet. Oh look, there are three other, uh, two other Canadians. Oh, that's a lot of Americans. You're leading the pack. Don't relax, though. Everyone will be on your tail. Still, no one on my friends list has bought grid. Ooh, achievement progress. I suppose our head start here gives us time to stop by Tim Hortons, get a coffee or tea, Timbits, maybe a BLT. Dinner's on me, everyone. That puts me all the way in last because I led the pack. No one's on my tail, <laughs> I'm right behind everyone. Wow, I'm driving a clean race so far. That's probably going to end pretty quickly. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, amazing. It hasn't yet. Oh! Oh, now it is. Um, well, I lost my window. You're better than last place. Get out of there. I am better, apparently. I don't know. I know you're the best driver out there. Let's show them why. Because I don't generally uh, you can actually yes, I do. get past and take his place. I think I may have also damaged my steering, that's kinda not good. Oops, oops. Yeah, I'm shifting to the right now. Pushing through the pack. Oh no, corner cutting detected. <laughs> You're not passing me. Oops, I don't want to turn right. Only two laps remaining. Can I actually finish this time? Uh, first, I mean. Wow, that was an amazing drift slide. Oop. That second lost some time by going off track. Try and make it up. Well, the AI is starting to fail. Starting to, that's kind of the first time though. Still amazing how intricate it is, like talking to you and such.
Well, it turns out I am better than last place. Start in last place, get halfway through, crash into a wall, break my front window, and... Wow. My car does not look very happy. The fastest lap of the race. Sweet. And then on top of that, we also do gain first place again. Well, maybe not again. Not from this race. Wow, that sun detail is kind of good. Oh no! That's lost you crucial seconds. Get back up to speed. Why, yes, it has lost me crucial seconds. Crucial seconds of a lead. Alright, watch your front. It's taking damage. I am aware my friend's taking damage, if you remember my first lap there. I'm surprised I didn't go flying. I would have been alright though, I naturally have wings. Second place is only five seconds behind you. Keep it smooth. Oh, really? That's actually doing better than I averagely do, I think. Oh, look, part of my hood's flailing off. Well, I think we won. Let's see if we can watch that replay. Oh, that's kind of intense already. <laughs> Squish. That looked kind of like a marshmallow. Oh, boy! Um... <laughs> that... Um... That doesn't look like I smashed into a wall. That poor car. I wonder what I did to it that actually flattened it out. I haven't hit anything so far and it still looks smushed. I'm pretty sure I didn't hit anything else though too, so. I look like I just randomly drove into a wall, or was going to. Yeah, it's still looking quite smooshed, not the way it did while I was actually driving and looked at it.
this feels like some sort of epic hero of music. A poor damaged car running for its life from Harrison Carter. Yeah, it still looks smooshed. It doesn't look flattened. And I'm, again, really sure I didn't actually hit anything else. I win. Great driving star. We got first in the round. Nice work. Also, for anyone wondering, I did also set the graphics quality up a little more to high now. Uh, so it still actually works fine with XSplit. Higher and it's still possible to play and all, but you start to get frame dropped frame rates and lag. Okay, Star. Well, the fans here in the U.S. have really taken to the WSR, so I think it's time to host our first championship final. I'll see you on the starting line to close this season out. Well, we're already done our first season. Oh, now it's an invitation. I was, I guess, looking at that one. Uh, Rockstar Energy Race Championship. Oh, this, oh wait, really quickly, my sponsorship objectives, win a face-off. Uh, win a race event and lead by 5 seconds, I just did that one. Okay, whatever. We'll try it again. Our Nissan again. ever WSR final. Time to put your name in the history books. Okay. Pass me the book and I'll write it down. I generally prefer the easy way if it's available. Oh boy, that's gonna leave a scratch. What? Is it really? <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Oops, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> yeah, our car is already pretty scratched. Oh, no, not again. Oop. Oh no, that was his fault, not mine. Uh, yep, our steering's already damaged. Oh, too far. Come on, take the position. Oh! Wow, he actually straightened me out really quickly. 
but we don't really need that door anyways. I feel like I should use a nitro boost. Oh no! Oh no, our indicator thing is red. Does that mean we're about to blow up or something? <laughs> you can really hear it. Okay, let's focus um, on a smooth drive and taking one position at a time. You got it. I just have to nail the corners and not drift early. That was a little early, but I nailed it. Oh, that was a little early again. Valuable seconds. Focus. Okay, we have a new race leader. Okay, let's focus on taking one more position. You can do it, pal. Let's get in this race. Yes, I can do it, but, you know, I think I've damaged my engine or something, and I can't get the speed to pass him. Plus, he was in my way. But there is one Last more lap. lap. Let's see how well I handle this lap. Oh, nope. Okay. Okay, I'm just curious. Should we total our car? Just to see if that light does flash or something and I actually blow up? Because I am just curious. Oh look, the lights Someone's are yellow. Out up ahead. Oh, I think that was him. Haha, <laughs> I'm not last anymore. Oh, my car is in such bad shape. Oops. We have a winner. Okay, so much for this race. Take that place back. <laughs> Oh, I'm in last again. Well, so much for that. And the front of my car actually looks completely different. <laughs> okay, let's restart. Ah, yes, it looks so much cleaner now. Our brand new car again. Can anyone smell that fresh car smell? Or is it new car smell? Oops. Yep, it left a dent. That's Oops. third place. Well, as I said before, we don't really need that door. It's only our safety on the line, really. Oops. Okay, Star, you're in the lead. Yes, I'm in the lead. Five pieces behind. Don't take too many of those impacts. Be careful. Yeah, I'm aware. I try not to hit it. Oh, we're assuming steering is damaged to the other side this time. Well, let's see if we can still win by any chance. Oops. Oh, I think I heard fire. I need to try and watch your left. It's taking a lot of damage. Oh, that's what's going on. We lost a tire. Oh, look, it's already red. Yep, there goes the tire. I look half like a train. I guess that'll give us 500 horsepower boost. Oh no! 
Yeah, I can't see right anymore. I can't even drift right. It looks like your engine's badly damaged. Expect a big drop in acceleration and top speed. Yeah, I already expected that last race. I wonder how far behind we are. I don't even see anyone on the minimap anymore. Well, speed bumps don't actually help your turning any. Final lap. Oh, I am so confident. Oops. Oops. Don't want to drive into any pans. I probably wouldn't like that. I've noticed that there are some things on the track, like if you hit a specific wall with those tires, you can't actually push the tires around. Of course, you don't want to do that because it's going to struggle at the front. First place has been taken. Yeah, I'm so glad you're informed about that. You're coming into the home stretch already. Okay, that's the first car across the finish line. It's a bit of a power struggle, and I'm probably like three minutes behind. And this is information I need to know. Well, how's our side doing? I see. Oh, I almost actually got into a drift. Oh, there's the finish line. Okay, that was probably about a minute or a minute and a half behind. Twelve. Well, he actually didn't say anything. I'm kind of glad about that. <laughs> Has anyone ever been able to drive a car on this game without all four tires yet? I know this game is a new release and it's probably quite possible. Has anyone actually done that yet? And furthermore, have you actually won the race with such a disadvantage? Oh, we have taken damage already. Oh yeah, we actually smashed that guy. I was expecting just a few scratches. Yep. Hey, my buddy's actually shut up. Did he actually run on home thinking I was screwed? <laughs> Two more to go. Well, he hasn't abandoned me. Oh, maybe he's leaving all the commentating to me. Ooh, that was probably as close as they come, tripped. Oops, a little close. Okay, let's see if we can lead by a good nice five seconds. That's the fastest lap of this race. Oops. Alright, I'll be 
fixing that then. <laughs> well, hell. I'll get the Tim bits. Second place is only five seconds behind you. Keep it smooth. Small loss of acceleration. The engine has taken some damage. Really? Oops. This is the last lap. I'm pretty sure I'm more than five seconds ahead. And look at that. We shaved off nearly a whole minute and a half. Oh yeah, we're actually eight seconds ahead. Really strong performance out there. You're currently first in the event standings. That should make our sponsor happy. Chicago is a grid-based city, so watch out for 90-degree bends. The car is on pole. He'll be sure to make a fast start, so don't let him get away. Okay. Ninth. At least I'm not in last this time. You've been getting a reputation for your aggressive starts. It's not what we want. Oops. Oops, sorry again. That was totally his fault, I did not see him coming. That one was actually kind of my fault. But hey, we're in first. That's you into the top three. Oops. Oh, sorry. Oop. That one was partly my fault. Mostly his. Oops, too far. Uh, apparently I'm plus four seconds from either second or first. Ooh. Uh, whatever your name is. I didn't actually catch his name. Don't know if he has a name. I guess I'll call you Guy. You're gonna have to fix the right door this time. Oh, and the front bumper. And possibly the left door. Five second gap between you and second place. Zone in on taking that position. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm just not driving that well. Oh, not big enough for drifts. Oh, wow. <laughs> it almost looks like a truck now from the front end. Oh look, there goes the sea train. Look at us, we're racing the sea train. Final lap, you're in third. I think we may be faster than the sea train. Ooh. We had quite the spin out. Well, I certainly hope I have seatbelts on the other side, if my door is gone. 
Nope, I still got my door. I wonder where the door is. Uh, I hope someone actually turned it into the loss of found it. Oh, was that something from us? Oh look, there goes the C train again. Oops. Oh, we are, I don't know how... <laughs> how can I see out that window? <laughs> Yes, that was first place across the finish line. Oh, we were about five seconds behind. I'm fine with that. You got yourself in a strong position for the next round. on track. Racing too close could end in disaster. This is the Ooh. final round. Give it everything you've got, and then give it some more. Yes, considering that these are the very tracks that I am horrible at. Oh look, we're actually starting in fifth. That's kind of nice. Off the blocks. You'll get a better start if you look for gaps rather than make them. <laughs> make them. Yeah, the interactive guy helping you to learn how to race is pretty nice. I don't think that's ever really been done before in a game. I've barely played any racing games really, so I could be wrong. Bye bye. You're in second. Go for the top spot. Oh look, there's a search and rescue helicopter. Probably searching for the dozens of cars I've thrown off the edge. Oops. Really? The epic music already? Oh, this is like the home stretch. Oh, come on, stay on the road. I'll be okay with seconds. Just get there in one piece. Oh yeah, we're actually not really that badly damaged at all this time. For once. That's gonna be an instant thousand dollar savings for my car. Oh, it wasn't even Harrison Carter. Interesting. Champion of the first ever WSR. First of many, I hope. Oh wow, look at that. A tie of three for her first place. A tie for fifth place, a tie for seventh place. A number of events have already taken place under the banner of World Series Racing, brainchild of entrepreneur Patrick Callahan, and the exciting brand new series has quickly captured the imagination of core U.S. motorsports fans. Question remains, can the WSR become a legitimate player in the busy marketplace of pro sports? Joining me in our final segment today, resident analyst Toby Moody. Toby, first impressions, can this organization make a long-term mark? Well, first things first, so far WSR has been a massive hit, not just in the US, but with, with fans who are in touch with motorsport all over the world, sponsors, the entire motorsport fraternity. The question is, can we now find a global star, a real big hitter of a driver? You're saying that they need a superstar. 
absolutely, absolutely. That's really the brainchild of Callahan, isn't it? Because, you know, we're competing with so many other sports here, but if we can find a personality and a super uber driver who has such skill to be the best in the world, then that's just going to be a massive, massive hit. It's the big question moving forward, Toby. Thanks, and we're going to be keeping a keen eye on this organization's progress. Much more on SportsCenter coming up. And apparently, you know, oh look, we got two achievements. Sweet. That new showroom smell. Oh. That was like 30,000 fans. You've managed a solid first season. We're going to be upping our game, so I've taken the liberty of moving you into a new workspace. It functions just like your old garage, so you shouldn't have any problems getting accustomed. Now I want to focus on getting a foothold in Europe. We'll have our work cut out for us if we want to impress them. But if we succeed, it will bolster the WSR with even more vehicles and new racing disciplines. I'm still in my car, ready to race inside my tiny little garage. You need to choose one of these vehicles to compete in. A Hyundai. Hyundai, sorry. Subaru. Okay, well, that one has quite a bit of points and weight. That would probably be nice for me. Not that much power. I think it's more than the Subaru. I think that's slightly less acceleration. Definitely less top speed, however. But, I think that is kind of what I need. Better handling over better speed. However, that Subaru... It actually does kind of look nice. Well, you know, I think one of the best humorous parts of my driving is my turning my car into a torpedo, flying, and telling my car to roll over. Ready for you to use on your next race. The hard work is paying off. You have another sponsor wanting a place on your livery. Oh sweet. I've got a fourth spot now. Randomize. Oh sweet, I can change the logo color. Okay, whatever. Uh KMC wheels apparently. Um... Oh yes, done. There we Dilly go. Zero are specialists in time attack. This is an event I really believe we need in the WSR. Building up a reputation with them might give us an opportunity to secure it. Oh, look at that. They're coming soon. Uh, everything's coming soon, apparently. Objectives. Did I complete... The objectives. Oh, apparently we've got new objectives. Okay. I suppose we'll. It's going to take everything you have learned so far to meet Divi Zero's high expectations, and then some. Securing a European club in the WSR would send a clear message to the fans that we will only deliver them the absolute top level of racing available today. So let's start confident. Okay. In time attack, drivers compete to set the fastest time on the chosen route. Lap-based events will give you a few shots at setting a fast time, but point-to-points are a one-shot deal. Focus on the racing line, and watch out for event traffic. Traffic? Oh, we can't use our fair lady? That kind of sucks. Oh well. Can't get a good angle at it. That's fine. We'll see it on the track. Five seconds before it's totaled. So who else likes the music here? I think the very main menu music is probably one of the 
nicer dunes. Divi Zero is one of the most famous time attack clubs in Europe. You'll need a top three time if you want to impress them. Oh wow. Okay, settle in. You're up against some supremely skilled racers. You can take them. Oh, I'm already racing. Oh, oops. Remember, every second counts against Divi Zero. Give it your best. Oop. Yep, there we go. Totals. <laughs> Oh look, there's a... Really? My pace is already faster? Oh, sweet. Wow, that is... Really fast... Oh! Um... It's just a crack. I'm sure some duct tape will hold on just fine. Okay, you're below the average speed. You need to push. Well, losing my bumper is probably going to help. Oops. Oops. I take it that these cars are not specifically drift type. I should have actually taken a look at that. Oop. Oh. Oopsie. Oh, wow, it's getting kind of hard to handle at that speed. So how many... Oh, we've got two laps then, huh? Okay. okay. Let's see if we can improve our time any- Oh! Crap. That's not gonna help at all. <laughs> That might help. That sounds like a really old car. Oh! Oh dear! I am not able to steer at all now. Um... That was both front wheels at the same time. You need to get moving. You're below pace. Yes, I know that. It's kind of hard to steer without any front wheels. Look at that, I'm literally holding down um, D to turn right. Yes, I have lost a bit of steering due to my having lost front wheels. <laughs> oh. It's just a scratch though. No biggie. Tough times to beat, but you nearly did it. Come on now, floor it. <laughs> we can't settle for this result. Losing here means Divi Zero stays put, and we need them to take us seriously. I have to take a look though at this. Yeah, it is oh, a really nice looking car. Just handles differently from the air lady that I'm used to.
Yeah, I think simply having uh, not lost my tires at the end would have helped with the time or position because of the last lap. And then, you know, get used to the car. <laughs> Oh wow, the paint on my car is kind of smudging. I think the guy behind that barrier that I smashed into is facing the other way and cheering. I saw some sparks for a moment. Oh, there go my tires. I think my left side went just before my right side, but they did go around the same time. Look, my wheel's also about to fall off, I think. Very good idea not to drive without tires. Always make sure you have decent tires on your car. Well, that was amusing. Oop. The car set up how you like it. Stay focused, and you'll set a fast time. Car set up how I like it. I don't think he knows how I like it. I like drifting, and you know, I like the fair lady. I'll take you uh, some time to get used to this one. Oh, oops. Nicely held. You picked a good spot there and passed your objective. Oh, okay. Oops. 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 Well, the warning light's on again. But I think my car is fine. Just ignore that warning light. Oh, oh, oh. Aha. Oops. Oops. Oh. Whoa. What the? Why am I spinning everywhere? Okay, now my car doesn't sound healthy again. I bet it's caught a cold. Get it together. You're falling off the pace. Well, considering that we do still have both tires, oops. Let's see if we can pick up the pace. Oh no, it's red now. I hope there's a check the check engine light light. Gain a little speed if you can. You're currently on pace with the rest. Yep. Too big a drift. Try to avoid any more damage to the front. I'll try. Well, you know, I tried to avoid all the damage to the front. Oops. Wow, did you see that great big spark? Alright, you're back. You need to keep pushing it now. I'm back, I have to keep pushing, and now I'm four seconds behind what I originally was. Okay. You're 
You're on pace with everyone else. Push if you can. I think the pearlescent paint is still working. That was probably the perfect drift from this car. Oh look, I actually got seven. Okay, that won't be enough to get any Divi Zero drivers willing to come on board to the WSR. Not when it's worse than last time, though. You are coming up to the line. Good luck. Oops. I ah, nailed it. Oops. Wait, well, you're not gonna say anything? I just completed an objective. Not a good idea to drift. Not there. Thank you. That was a bit of a lagged response. Come on, get out of there. There we go. No, no, come on. Oops. Well, at least straight as possible. The more you have to turn, the slower the car moves. Yeah. Thing is, oops. When I make a straight turn, I end up crashing into a wall. Oh. Well, he actually helped me straighten out. <laughs> I probably should have gone with the other car regardless. Oop, oop. Oops. I looked almost like a mini. Alright, that looked pretty bad from where I am. Yeah, I'll say that looks pretty bad. <laughs> I turned my wheel into a bowl. 80% damage, force of impact 21 G's, speed of impact 94 kilometers per hour. Interesting. Oh look, apparently one of my debris is on top of her nose on the magazine. Well, let's restart the whole race here. That was pretty bad. Ahead or filtered through. The race is underway. Get ready for the start. Oops. I definitely have to get used to this car. I'm sure I will. Oh, I think this car actually doesn't like uh, at top speeds. Oops. At least now we're driving decently-ish. I don't think we're alone. Oh, oops. At least we recovered. Oh no! Yeah, 
not that bad. Oh hey, we're actually in first. Sweet. There goes my alarm. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, now my turning's damaged. That probably didn't help that much. Oh, I almost completely nailed it. Oops. The front chassis has some pretty serious damage now. Yeah, I don't doubt it. I don't blame you. <laughs> there goes my door too. As I'm sliding into that wall. Oh, it didn't slide into the wall. Not all corners are gonna be fast. Control your entry and get a fast exit. Great driving. Not many can compete with Divi Zero like that. I also missed what achievement that was. Beginner's luck. Ooh. Okay, beginner's luck. One objective's completed. Wow, how many fans did I just gain from that? You're gonna need to choose one of these vehicles to compete in. That looks like a tier zero car. Okay, well, um, hmm. Considering last time, I think this time I do need to work on handling. But actually, both of them look to be pretty similar, so... I don't mean to dash on board or anything, but I seem to have the worst luck with them. So let's go with this one. BMW, is it? Okay, good choice. Alright, that win has opened up a lot of doors. You can carry on racing against Divi Zero, or if you want a real challenge, you've been invited to do a promo event. You've also caught the attention of Elimination. They have talent we need, so make sure you respond. Okay, and uh, before I do that, I am going to go AFK in just a moment. But also, my vehicles. Wow, that is a really nice car. So, I'd like to show this off really quickly. Uh, the patterns. Uh, yeah, you select the pattern here, and it does the pattern on the side. Not very well camouflaged. It looks like someone's terrible design curtains. That looks interesting. I think the ideal part is to actually go through the patterns first, see which one you like. Not based off the color, but based off the style. Actually, I do kind of like that one. So let's go with that one. Go over here to the colors, and the number is uh, 299 there. Everyone knows that I like 299. So go to the colors. Base color, which is the pearlescent blue. You can change the paint type, so it's gloss, just looks like that. Metallic, kind of shiny, metallic-like. Matte, kind of looks plain, I guess. Flip, inversion, I guess. Oh wait, there's a secondary paint type. Okay, that's kind of interesting. It looks purpley now. Pearl lesson, which is what I had, looks more blue, but... Your point of view and lighting can make it look uh, pink, purple, reddish too. 
So let's give Flip a try for a while. Because that actually looked kind of interesting too. And then you hit enter. So it's applied. Pattern color 1. Currently it's black metallic. So the easiest way to see what it is is straight up change the color. Not the type, the color. So as you can see the black stripe in the middle is now green, teal, light blue, actually blue, purple, uh, I guess another type of blue. Ooh, I just had an idea. And we don't want black secondary color. An inversion of blue to purple stuff. Okay, so down there. Yellow. It's just simply gloss. I think it's fine there. And pattern three is red to yellow pearlescent. Uh yeah, it kinda goes in oops with yellow and since it looks like it is already oh wait, I think the sides here on the outside is already pearlescent. Only pearlescent. So yeah, that looks nice. It changes color every now and then. Again, based on how you look at it, where you look at it from, the lighting, etc. And then you can actually change the color of your wheels too. But you can't change pearlescence or anything. So let's make them blue. And you can change the rims too. Store, recall the style. I stored the style actually. And I'm gonna leave it now. Complete. Apply this to all vehicles. Yes. So now every vehicle is going to use the same color style and style. So, now that our vehicle looks so much cooler now. Uh, also anyone interested, you can see people and vehicles as you see that guy walking by outside. So that's one thing. I've actually seen a truck drive by in the other place. Oh, there goes the vehicle right now, actually. So yeah, the small minor things. Just, yeah, small, even in the main menu. That's pretty cool. Thank you everyone for watching, and I shall see you guys next time. in just a moment.